Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Uh, one card just fell out. So it's being recorded on the 26th. So you could say the 27th or the 26th, whatever. I think through, I'm going to say the 27th through November 2nd, okay? But then again, it's seven days from the date that you watch this reading, okay? Let's see what fell out. August, the month of August is prominent. I'm not sure if something has started in August and things are coming to fruition now. Or you're dealing with somebody that's born in the month of August or something is going to be happening next August. August is prominent. I, the way I feel when I look at that card or when it came out, was that it's something that started in the month of August that is, you know, being dealt with at this time. What else do we, but I could be wrong. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, there we go. Another one, flowers, happiness. So some of you are probably going to be in a really, really happy place. Um, somebody could be getting flowers. It could be a time of growth. Uh, beautiful. Flowers are beautiful. So something, whatever is happening, it, it looks like it's beautiful. It's probably warm. August is a, is a very warm month, typically, at least where I live it is. Um, so something is happening. It looks like it's beautiful. There's, there's an, a feeling of warmth and happiness. So what do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Spiritual awakening. So somebody is going through a spiritual awakening right now. That card kind of, but I, when, I, when it just came out, I thought of the judgment card. So I'm wondering if somebody is making a judgment call. Maybe they've gotten some sort of epiphany. You know, maybe it's the end of things. Um, here we go. Six months. Six months. So I don't know. Six months is prominent. Something is going to happen in six months or somehow something is going to happen in six months. Or something happened six months ago. Ooh. X. X. So we may be, you may be dealing with an X, or this could be a no answer. This, this, is, uh, this can mean so many things. It can also be X marks the spot, right? X can mean different things. When I created this deck, I pictured the X like in the voice or American Idol or whatever where they hit the button, you know? Uh, so I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, but some of you may be planning a move. Maybe you're gonna be moving or you moved six months ago or this may have to do with a move. So there's something to do with moving. Um, planning, somebody may be planning a move. Maybe you're planning a move or somebody that around you is planning a move. Uh, Something is going on that has to do with a move. Um, there's a spiritual awakening here. There's a lot of happiness. Um, it feels like there's warmth. Um, some of you could be dealing with an ex. I don't know if this dex, it, this dex, this ex is born in August or something like that. Judgment, I don't know if there's court involved. There could be court involved. Something is coming to an end, I believe. That's how I feel. Maybe you were thinking about a decision that you ha had to make or the court was making a decision. There's something to do with a final decision here or karma. I don't know if you have an ex that is getting karma. There is some karma. I know that there is because I feel it very strongly. Somebody is getting some karma because there's judgment. I wanted to keep mentioning judgment. So judgment is a card of karma. It's a card of... Uh, of the past, you know, being held accountable for actions of the past. I don't know if you have an ex that's being held accountable. You may see something in the next six months that's happening with this ex. Maybe it's it started in August. Six of Wands reversed. Could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. 
Um, but that is a no answer as well. That X is a no answer. So right now, presently, we have a loss, a lot, a losing, a losing a battle. No win. You could be dealing with somebody that is a, you know, doesn't follow through, doesn't finish things. Uh, likes to be in the spotlight. This is somebody that uh, rushes into things that doesn't have any real um, stamina or staying power. Uh, ooh, lovers reversed as your challenge. So there's a separation here. So there's some sort of a detachment or disconnection or one-sidedness in a partnership. You know, uh, when I get the uh, lovers, and they're both sixes, both sixes reversed, and we had that six months. So somebody's life is not going in the right direction. I don't think it's you. I don't. I think it's, it has to do with an ex. I'm sorry for all the cross watchers watching this. I don't, I don't. For some reason, I don't think it's. I don't think it's the Capricorn. I just don't. I feel like there's a separation here. I feel like there's a detachment from an individual. And I think that your challenge, or you're, you're feeling some challenges right now. Maybe you need to get your life back on track. Maybe you're having a hard time disconnecting because the lover's reverse is a disconnection. It's a disconnection from somebody, the six of wands reverse. I don't know, you're dealing with somebody that's very smug and cocky, you know? This person likes admiration. They like to get all the admiration that they can get from as many people as they can get, so, uh, you know, re uh, recognition. Um, I don't know if there's some unwelcome news. I don't know if you've received some unwelcome news about an ex. Nine of coins reversed, eight of swords. I'm gonna move these over. Eight of coins, six of cups reversed, six, six, six. They're all right together. They're all reversed. You need to get your life back on track. You don't be holding on to no X or holding on to something in the past. You're still holding on to something in the past. You are. You are a Capricorn. You're holding on to somebody that you need to move on from. You need to move on from this person. You need to cut this person right out of your life. It's time for you to get your life back on track. You need to know your value, know your worth. And this is reading isn't going to be for everybody. I feel like you're, you've been trapped, right? You've been trapped. You, maybe you've been in a state of denial. This is the past, okay? You've been restricting yourself, confining yourself, um, playing it safe, you've been in a place of mental turmoil, uh, putting up a barrier, probably not letting anybody in. It's because of somebody that you have a connection with in the past. Or it's some sort of past situation that has caused you to restrict yourself in some way. I mean, but that is the past, okay? That's, I, you know, this is you restricting yourself. You, you, you need to stop. You've been restricting yourself, staying stuck. These sixes reversed or no movement. Okay, sixes are taking that journey to balance and harmony. It's taking that ride. It's the transition away from the challenge, away from the fives, away from the conflict, okay? But you've been stuck on a partner or a contract with this, is it love? This could be work, I don't know what it is, but the, six, the lover's card is a contract, okay? You've been, and, it could, and it could definitely be a partner of some sort. You've been stuck in the past, clinging to the memories, clinging to somebody in your past, okay? And I feel like you've received some news about this person, and I feel like you've been, you know, it's been a hard time, it's been hard to accept the truth. Maybe you've been in denial about that person. I feel like right now, you know, maybe you don't know your value. This is a, this is where you are. That's, this is like not enjoying life. You know, maybe you're not, in, but you haven't been taking care of yourself. You haven't been putting yourself first. You need to take action. You need to find the discipline. You need to find the, the willpower, Okay to take action and put yourself first, do what's right for you, know your value, know your worth. You complete you, they don't complete you. Can you please remember that? Whoever this person is that you are pining over from the past or you ha are stuck on, you need to move forward, okay? Know your value, know your worth, whatever it is, you need to move on. Four of Swords, Empress, some of you guys have an empress 
as your outside influence. So you have love around you. You have love around. There's somebody in your outside influence that is a lover. This person can take care of you. This is a nurturer. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. But whoever this person is, this is a lover. This is a mother. This is somebody that does everything with love. This is a creator. Somebody that can bring growth into your life that will nurture you. You know? There's tender loving care around you. There is. But I feel like with that four of swords underneath it, I feel like maybe you've given up or you're just tired or, you know, you've, you've just isolated yourself too much, too much. For some of you, maybe you, and this is, the, if you were to take the nine of pentacles reverse versus the empress, okay, you need to really focus on your value, okay? You need to focus on your value, um, this is the birth of a new life. It's a birth. Some of you may ne receive news of a child. Some of you, you may receive news that somebody is having a child. Maybe it's even you. I don't know. Um, maybe there's a news of a pregnancy or whatever. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's been a loss. Maybe there's even been a loss of a child that somebody has been grieving over. I'm not sure. I do feel like there's some sort of grievance here. I absolutely do. But there's news of a new life. There's news of a birth. There's news of a, of a, of a new life here. The birth, Empress gives birth to a new life. She does everything with love. She's a mother. She, it's a very fertile time for you. You may not know it, but it is. But I feel like... Uh, <laughs> You, you need to heal. This is, this is where you're at right now. This is a card of healing. It's a time out, taking a time out to heal. But I think that's what you've been doing. And I think you've been doing it for quite some time. You may be tired. You may be fed up. You may be exhausted right now. But this is the end. This, when I see the Four of Swords, it kind of looks like the death of a person or idea. So you need, you need, and it's been painful because what becomes before the three, uh, the Four of Swords is the Three of Swords. You've been through some sort of grieving. You've been through some sort of heartache, okay? You've suffered long enough. It's over. It's done. Okay, this is the end. This is the end of the grieving, okay? You have an opportunity for a new life because right above that is the Empress. So you're suffering. You're suffering over a loss of something. Um, I don't know if it has to do with a child or it has to do with a partner. Um, there is even like with the Six of Cups reverse, that's in your future. That's like packing up, leaving home, leaving the past behind. That's right in the future. The Six of Cups reverse. You need to focus on your future. The past is gone. I was going to say the past is dead. Okay. Um, Six of Cups reverse. Nothing stays the same. The end of a contract. You're dealing with somebody that has their overinflated ego and you have been restricting yourself for this person. I feel like you are very beautiful, male or female. I think that you have a very beautiful energy about you. I feel like you are going through a rebirth. I feel like you are about to receive some sort of blessing. Five of Swords. I feel think that you're very scared, aren't you? You're very scared of getting hurt. You're, and I think that you have your guard up. You really, 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 your hopes and fears is the five of swords. So you're, you're like, you're like in protection mode. I feel like you are. It's like, don't come near me. I'm, you know, I feel like you're pushing people away. You have your guard up, you know? Mm. Ooh. Page of Swords reverse. It's the overall outcome. So a message may be coming. Okay. It's probably going to bring conflict. Okay. It's going to be a message that makes you conflicted. You may be caught off guard by a message. I feel like this week you are, you, there could even be a hostile situation that is unfolding with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords could be somebody that is jealous or somebody that's picking a fight with you, somebody that wants to win at all costs. This may be somebody that is very childish, very immature, may even have to do with a child because the Page of Swords is a child. There may be news of a child that could be what exactly what you don't want to hear. I don't know what it is. Um, Page of Swords reversed. 
there is something to do with a child here or maybe even a pregnancy or something like that. Not for everybody. Page of Swords reverse. That's bad news. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. You do not want to hear it. Or, you know, this could go many ways. Above you is the eight of coins. That's putting in effort. Somebody's going to be putting in effort. They're working hard to create something. The end of a situation, the birth of a new life. You are about to be blessed. Whoever you are dealing with, who, what, what is going on with this person? Three of cups reverse, parting ways, parting ways, third party situation, dashed expectations, turning away from friends or family. The party is over a termination. Somebody is terminating something. They're terminating something. They're terminating a contract. Somebody is terminating a contract. I wonder if it's your ex or somebody that you have been hanging on to. Somebody is terminating a contract here. You're definitely going to be caught off guard. You are going to be caught off guard. What is this page of swords reversed? situation is coming to an end. You're in a very beautiful space. It's interesting because now I just see the Knight of Swords up in the corner of this card. I just barely saw that. I don't think I've ever seen it and I've had this deck for a long time. Some, some There's going to be movement there is definitely going to be some movement. There's going to be an approach. Could be a sudden arrival. Could be a sudden departure. Something is going to happen. Somebody's been planning something. They've been thinking. They have. They've been thinking about ending something. They're about to take action. Take a look at that Knight of Swords. This is getting a move on. Okay? Making a decision. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is making a big decision. Some, and it has to do with a new life. It has to because the Empress is right above it. I feel like you are absolutely, I mean, you got some sort of ability to take care of. You know, you got that love and tender love and care that somebody is looking for. That's how I feel. Severing ties with a third party. Somebody is severing ties, and I don't know if it's you or them. Five of Swords is severing ties with a third party, okay? That is severing ties, uh, walking away, walking away from a third party. Nothing stays the same. Packing up, leaving. Somebody is leaving a third party. There's no compatibility. There's no uh, reciprocation. There's probably no attraction to it. No. Press. You have somebody who's putting in effort, working hard. I don't know if you're focusing on your job, you're focusing on your money, you're focusing on your work. You're really focused at this time. You're focused, maybe you need to focus a little bit more on yourself. Maybe you need to take better care of yourself. Give yourself a break. Take your, take, take, you need to take a break. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to nurture yourself during this time. Take a time out. Take a break. Take a break. Maybe you've just severed ties with somebody. You know, your expectations were dashed and you need to take a break. I don't know. What is this page of swords reversed? Queen of swords reversed. So I feel like there is a woman here that is wrecking havoc. Okay. You're dealing with a woman that is wrecking havoc on your life. I don't know if she's a liar or whatever she is, but it feels like she doesn't tell the truth. She lies. Maybe she lies about a child or she's lied about her child. She's not a very good mother. Could be a stepmother. Could be an ex. The Queen of Swords can represent an ex. Absolutely. Male or female. Doesn't matter what sign it is. Okay. This is somebody that is very forceful, very brash, very assertive, uh, uh, revengeful, 
lies a lot. You're dealing with somebody that lies a lot. It's a woman. It is a woman. I feel like she hasn't been telling the truth. This woman. Hermit reverse. There's going to be some, something, some sort of enlightenment. Something is going to come to light. There could be a rejection here as well. Somebody's been hiding something. And they have. They have. They've been hiding something. I think, I don't know if it has to do with a child or they've lied about a child or they've lied about something. And it doesn't have to be a child, but... Mm. Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment, right? Walking away into wish fulfillment. So time to reconnect. Time to, it's time for you to reconnect. It's time for you to socialize. It's time to let this bitch go, okay? Whatever. If she's lied to get her way, whatever. Whatever. Karma will get her, okay? Karma will get her. Um, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. You need to go after wish fulfillment. It's time for you to reconnect. It's time for you to stop restricting yourself. You need to socialize, okay? Maybe you've lost friends or you've pushed friends away or family away because of some bitch. I don't know. Um, there is a bitch here, no doubt about it. I feel, or you've pushed a potential partnership away because of whoever this person is. I feel like it's time for you to reconnect. I feel like it's time for you to stop fighting, stop playing with this person. Don't communicate with them anymore. Just stop, okay? Don't play with them. They like to play with you. There's somebody here that likes to play with you. The death of a, of a situation. This is the end of a situation. A new life is about to begin. Somebody is about to put some plans in action. They are about to make a bold move. They are moving towards a new life and they're gonna be going very, very fast. Eight of Cups reversed. Now the Eight of Cups reversed could be somebody that's coming back around. Maybe they left you for a bitch. I mean, I'm sorry to swear, but, or maybe you're leaving a situation. You've been thinking about it. This could be taking a lot of time to think about leaving. Okay, maybe you've been thinking about leaving and you haven't left. Maybe it's time for you to move. Maybe it's time, that's what I had to do. I had to move too. I had to, and I feel so much better. But anyhow, anyhow, um, thinking about leaving, thinking about leaving, all right? Um, this could also be somebody that has left you, that has caused you a little, a lot, not a little, a lot of emotional disappointment that is coming back around. They may be apologizing. You know, maybe they're coming back. Somebody could be coming back around. Or you're, you know, it could go both ways. It could go both ways. But the Four of Swords is the end of a situation. It's the death of a person or idea. It's taking a new approach. Somebody's taking a new approach. They are taking a new approach. They're going to be um, nourishing something. They're going to be putting in a lot of effort into this new life. Maybe it's, maybe it's just like severing ties with the third party, going after that wish fulfillment. There's a chance to have it all with the Nine of Cups. I think that you're going to be very, very pleased at the end because this, the Nine of Cups is pleased. I'm so happy with the outcome. You know, you may not realize when there's a separation that everything happens for a reason, but it does. This is like a pleasing separation. I'm sorry to say that. It is. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is separating. They have been restricting themselves. They were tied to a situation. And they are breaking free from that situation. So that could certainly be the case. Maybe they were uh, restricting themselves because they were afraid of the consequences. Or because they because there's consequences here. Or they because they didn't know what the legal ramifications were going to be if they did what they did, you know, or there was something to do with a child that could be dealing with somebody that will uh, you hold a child against them if they leave. There's, you know, that's, people do that shit all the time. It's really sad. It's stupid. It's immature. And I do see immature behavior here. Absolutely. You know, people do things to get revenge. And maybe that's why they've been stayed where they at 
because they're afraid of what this person knows, what this person's going to say, what this person's going to do if they, you know, go after their wish fulfillment. But anyhow, I feel like there is action that is about to be taken. Okay. So really get prepared, get prepared because there's somebody that is about to take action. It could be you. It absolutely could be you. There could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Like I already said, this is fast forward movement. It is. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be taking a big risk and they're going to be going in a direction. Um, it's very spontaneous. It is a spontaneous uh, move, but I also feel like this person has thought about it because I see that in the Hermit and the Four of Swords. So this may just be like all of a sudden, okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I do see whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody is severing ties with a third party. They are, they're packing up and they're leaving home. It's like they're leaving this bitch behind. Good luck. 